From the air and on the ground, police spent the day hunting for a man for more, with more than a dozen outstanding felony warrants. Tonight, that search continues. Two couples and two terrifying assaults, and the same men are charged in each case. I'm Matt Barrington. I'll have that story coming up. Good evening, Chief Meteorologist John Ed Thompson. We still have showers, gusty winds, possibly some lightning and hail out there. We'll track it for you next on Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. You're watching Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. Hello, I'm Anissa Centers. And I'm Bob Grip. Thank you for choosing Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. tonight. Investigators in Mobile have come up empty after a four-hour manhunt, and a felony suspect is still at large. It all started about 1.30 this afternoon on Hubert Pierce Road in Sims. ABI officials got a tip from Virginia authorities that this man, Robert Bowles, was hiding out in our area. They followed Bowles all morning, but when he figured out that he was caught, he ran away. As Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Davis tells us, Bowles hasn't stopped running since. Sheriff's cars speeding by, helicopters hovering overhead, armed deputies at the ready. All to try and catch Robert Bowles, a fugitive from Virginia, a man with 11 felony warrants, a man who has shot at police before and is now considered armed and dangerous. And I just come back out front like that, pulled him around the front. I just seen him when he come running out, jumped the road and stuff. And then they was already here. They just missed him. What was your thought when you seen this guy that you're, what, they you looking know? for him. That's the one they're looking for. Ain't no way it's this hot as it is. Go through them bamboos like it. <laughs> He's diving. Investigators tracked him to this heavily wooded area off Tanner Williams Road, but extreme heat and heavy brush stops the pursuit on foot. In the air, a Coast Guard chopper hopes to have more luck using handheld infrared to try and track bulls down. But just before five, the search is called off. The wood's too thick. The area he's hiding in, too large. Deputies will continue patrolling all night, but folks in the area aren't sure that's enough. I want them to catch him. I mean, I won't be able to sleep night unless they do. You know what I mean? I mean, I can go on that with them if they let me. It's, it's a very uncomfortable feeling because how do you know in the middle of the night this guy doesn't show up? That means sleepless nights for folks in these neighborhoods and for authorities who want to take a criminal off the streets. In Sems, Andrew Davis, Fox 10 News. ABI officers did take a local woman who was with Bowles into custody, but haven't charged her yet. If you see Robert Bowles, consider him armed and dangerous. Don't approach him. Just call the Mobile County Sheriff's Office right away. Police are investigating a message left on the door of a church daycare center. They're treating it as a threat against the children. It happened at Spring Hill Avenue Baptist Church. About 6.30 this morning, a mother dropping her child off walked to the door and saw this. The words, your child is not safe here, were written with a permanent marker on the glass. Pastor Don Bond doesn't know if the note was left by someone with a complaint or someone who's really a threat. Whatever the case is, he is arranging for extra security for the children. You have to take everything seriously. And so we're taking this seriously, and I hope that we can get to the bottom of it and get it solved. Bond filed a complaint with police, and they say they will be keeping an eye on the church. The church had planned to send notes home with parents explaining what happened. Some good news tonight. A man who was attacked with a baseball bat last week is out of the hospital. Jimmy Bass was hit in the head with a bat outside this restaurant. Police say it all started at Pensacola Beach when several men made suggestive comments to Bass's girlfriend. Then police say the suspects followed the couple to the restaurant and assaulted Bass outside. The two men charged with the assault are Justin Check and Alan Richardson. Now, at the time of that assault, Check and Richardson were out on bond facing a very similar charge, the beating of another couple. Today, Fox 10 News reporter Matt Barentine spoke to that couple and has their scary ordeal. June 12th was the scariest day of Danielle and Sonny Cook's life. On that day, they were getting in their car to go to a family dinner. As they strapped in, they were approached by several men right in front of their Pensacola apartment. And the guys came up and started walking around my wife and, you know, her side of the car. When he came to his wife's defense, Sonny Cook says that's when punches were thrown and more of the men's friends joined in. I don't even know how many guys it was, but just a bunch of guys ran out and they all started, you know, jumping on me and hitting me. And When Danielle Cook ran to call help, she says she was leveled by one of the men. I panicked. And I got out of the car and went to go call the cops, and I got um, clothesline. 
My nose was bleeding, my face was busted. Through all of this, nine-month-old Alyssa was in the car. And so she's sitting in the car, my wife's laying on the concrete, and uh, these guys are all kicking me. I watched all them guys on my husband, him down on the ground. It's, it's really, it's indescribable. I was, I was completely terrified. I didn't know if they were going to kill him or anything. I'm sorry. After the assault, the cooks felt too threatened to stay in their apartment, so they moved and now share a small place with another couple. Last thing that happened was the guys had threatened us. He said, um, you know, he had a gun in my face and said, well, that's all right, because I know where your baby and your wife sleep. Two of the men arrested for the assault on the cooks were Justin Check and Alan Richardson. Less than three weeks later, these two men were once again arrested. Bass was rushed to Baptist Hospital. Police say this time they assaulted Jimmy Bass with a baseball bat. Watching our report brought frustration from the cooks. All of that could have been avoided. I mean, these guys should have already been in jail. But they weren't. They both had bonded out. And why are they out on the streets? Two young couples, two small children, with one terrible thing in common. In Pensacola, <laughs> Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. It'll be a lot more difficult for Czech and Richardson to bond out of jail this time. Today, their bond was raised to $250,000 each. Saraland police arrest a would-be bank robber just moments after he's accused of botching a robbery. Police say this man, Wallace Henderson, walked into the Colonial Bank on Highway 43 this afternoon and handed the teller a note demanding money. Investigators say Henderson became impatient and fled without getting any cash. An off-duty Saraland police officer spotted him moments later and gave chase. Officers got the cuffs on him in Chickasaw and took him to jail. The FBI is checking to see if the Theodore man could be a suspect in other bank robberies in the area. Chief Meteorologist John Ed Thompson has been very busy tonight tracking a lot of storms. That's right. I headed out for just a short time during our dinner break and Whoosh. made yeah made the mistake of not taking an umbrella in with me. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. John Ed, is it all gone now? No, it's still out there. And as a matter of fact, one thing you don't want to stick up in the air right now is a lightning rod. Let me show you the way the sky has looked tonight. It is flashing like crazy out there as we have some very strong thunderstorms out there rolling out of southwest Alabama and into the panhandle of Florida. Looking at the Fox 10 News storm tracker, you can see that line right there that starts in the northern part of Escambia County, Florida, and stretches all the way down into southeastern Baldwin County. That line right there that's basically along Highway 20 will push off to the east at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. It's going to be in the Pine Barren area at about 912, on to McDavid 913, Contonment 915, Molino 916, Cottage Hill, Florida 917, and on to Pine Forest at about 922. So if you're up here in the northern part of Pensacola, you can see those little dots. For, uh, for instance, Pine Forest, it's going to be coming your way uh, off to the east. Other areas to be affected, not only that, but Gonzales, Pace, Milton, all of you will be affected by this as it pushes on off to the east. Now, that line is pushing to east. Another heavy line of thunderstorms up here from Munson, Florida, all the way up here to Laurel Hill. And it's coming out of the Bruton area, pushing on through Escambia County, Alabama, and right now coming out of Santa Rosa over to Okaloosa County. Looking back into Mississippi to see if there's anything else out there that's going to come our way, we do have some scattered showers off to the west of Loosedale, but not as heavy a line of thunderstorms as we've had earlier. Again, we're not under a severe thunderstorm warning. We've got lightning out there, possibly some hail. And in those thunderstorms now, some of the winds could be at about 35 miles per hour, although the line itself is moving at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. One thing it's doing, though, it's dropping our temperatures. We're coming down into the mid-70s in a lot of places out there because of the rainfall. How warm is it going to be tomorrow? I've got the Thursday forecast coming in just a bit. Thanks, John Ed. A local couple is glad to be back home after a vacation experience they could have done without. What the family went through sounds like the plot for a movie of the week. The father and son float in the water for 18 hours after their boat sinks. The mother can't do anything but wait and pray for their safe return. Listen as they describe this incredible story of survival. Jean and Elsie White are glad to be back home on the Gulf Coast. Elsie and Jean were in Charleston, South Carolina, visiting their son Terry this weekend when father and son decided to go fishing here on this Charleston Lake. They headed out in this boat about 5.30 Saturday evening. When the two of them hadn't made it back by 2.30 in the morning, Jean felt something was wrong. She was right. The motor had quit working and water had filled the boat. Terry made the call for them to bail out. 
He said, uh, Dad, grab that big cooler. So we had a great big old cooler, about a three and a half, a three and a half uh, igloo ice is the name of it. So I grabbed the hold of that cooler and he threw me three life jackets. That cooler and those life jackets were the only things protecting them from the elements. This water on this lake looks calm now, but it was rough night. It was real rough. Uh, seas was three to five foot and uh, swells were big and the wind was blowing probably 10, 15 knots. And they were miles from shore. As night turned to day again, Elsie doubted they would make it. I told my son that if uh, one of us had to go, it'd be me. He said, no, we're both going to survive. And we did. Just as it was looking like they might need to give up, a boat saw the orange life jacket Terry had been throwing up in the air, catching and throwing up again. Well, Terry was found and treated and released Sunday evening from a local hospital. LC had to stay in the hospital in Charleston until Monday. Both of them are now doing just fine. Mm, happy ending, that's right. Yes. Well, there are modern-day Bonnie and Clyde, and police say they're as dangerous as they come. The nationwide manhunt continues for an escaped convict and his wife. People of the West, don't be fooled by the lies of Blair and Bush, that you are free nation. Al-Qaeda is recruiting disturbing images in a new propaganda tape that supposedly came from that terrorist group. Before a storm. To get you up to speed. Worse the weather yet to move in, but it's right on our doorstep. During a storm. Be aware, heavy rainfall coming down and possible hail with strong gusty winds. After a storm. Looking clear across the forecast area right now. Depend on Fox 10 News Storm Tracker at 5 and 9 p.m. Text all you want for one flat rate of $5.99 a month. And say goodbye to Bill Surprises. Find your voice in the cellular south. Also, with Altel, you get unlimited calls between your wireless and home phone. That's so wonderful. It's just a little unexpected. <laughs> when Altel gives you unlimited calls between your wireless and home phone, what's not to love? So soft. <laughs> All right, getting some bread. Give Dad the bacon. Show me the cheese. Two fifty usage fee. That, that's my cheese. That ain't right. Text all you want for one flat rate of $5.99 a month. And say goodbye to Bill Surprises. Find your voice in the cellular south. We're dedicated to bringing you believable information. We are committed to earning and keeping your trust with news stories that affect your life. You can depend on Fox 10 News. You're watching Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. A disturbing piece of videotape out of Afghanistan tonight. It's a two-hour documentary that shows terrorists preparing to attack American troops. U.S. intelligence says it's Al-Qaeda's latest attempt to spread its message. Fox's Brett Bayer has the story. U.S. intelligence officials say the newest Al-Qaeda videotape broadcast on Arabic television network Al Arabiya this week is believed to be authentic and is the latest effort by Al-Qaeda to recruit for its network. In the tape, suspected terrorists are seen in classroom settings, planning attacks, building bombs, and training for ambushes, all purportedly in the mountains of Afghanistan. But this tape is also different. It's billed as a documentary and is more than two hours long. Various languages are used to get the message across, including a breathless diatribe against the West by an English speaker with an Australian accent. It is time for us to be equals. As you kill us, you will be killed. As you bomb us, you will be bombed. 
But most disturbing is this video, what appears to be a surface-to-air missile fired from the mountains. The voice on the tape says the missile brought down an American helicopter. Other choppers are seen flying around billowing smoke in the mountains, and then the tape cuts to a U.S. rifle and a computer said to be recovered from the wreckage. Then a military ID is shown. Petty Officer Danny Dietz was one of four Navy SEALs missing, then found dead last month. Commanders expect al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters to make a major push before Afghanistan's parliamentary elections set for September 18th. At Bagram Air Base, A-10 pilots are flying combat support missions day and night, backing up efforts on the ground to hunt down terrorists in the mountains. We're working a lot harder while we're out there with uh, stuff heating up. Just today, the A-10s fired rockets and dropped one 500-pound bomb on an enemy position after an attack on a U.S. and Afghan convoy. U.S. commanders don't know when this al-Qaeda tape was made, but they do know that there are cells like the ones on the tape grouping in the mountains now. At the Pentagon, Brett Baer, Fox News. Meantime, five more American soldiers are dead in Iraq. It happened when a roadside bomb exploded near a U.S. convoy outside Beijing. Minutes after the blast, the unit took heavy fire from insurgents. Another five American soldiers and a U.S. contractor were wounded during that attack. Agents find the van of a fugitive couple, but the suspects are still on the loose. Authorities say Jennifer Hyatt ambushed two prison guards, then sped away with her husband, George. One of those guards died. The shooting happened in Tennessee. The van was found in a motel parking lot in Kentucky. The couple apparently stayed at the motel but left before authorities showed up. Corrections officers in Baldwin County will soon have some new and potentially life-saving equipment. Right now, officers like Edgar Hernandez don't have bulletproof vests. The officers are responsible for courthouse security and moving inmates. In the wake of the Tennessee shooting, Baldwin County Corrections Chief Stephen Arthur says that the vests are now a priority. One of the things that we're talking about is outfitting all of our transportation officers and our court security officers with bulletproof vests. Something that hasn't happened in the past because there wasn't a need, but certainly the thing in Tennessee brings that to light, and we're going to look at doing that very soon. Chief Arthur says the vests will cost between four and five hundred dollars each. The money for them will come from the sheriff's office budget. I wanted my cats to pay attention and see a working pet. <laughs> You won't meet many dogs like this one. He has a nose trained to sniff out mold. And his name is Tyson. Let me show you what we have temperature-wise outside right now. It's currently 85 degrees in Destin, 82 in Crestview, and 80 at NAS. The rest of us have come down into the mid-70s with scattered rain showers out there. Our headlines call for spotty storms tonight, light winds, some fog later on. It's going to be hot and humid tomorrow. And guess what? Some more thunderstorms. Your forecast is next. Hi, I'm Kim Skelton. My husband and I were cheerfully surprised when we became pregnant with our son. And at eight and a half weeks, I went on bed rest. I was terrified every day. Blue Cross Blue Shield assigned me a case manager, and she became a friend, a partner in the goal of achieving a healthy pregnancy. That's something your premiums don't cover, someone that's caring for you. His name is Gus, and he is an angel. As a corporate professional, I waited a little later to have my children. My doctor told me I needed the most advanced hospital available. We agreed the best choice was USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Children's and Women's has the region's most sophisticated care, including the only intensive care unit for premature newborns. That's important to me. I would encourage every woman to ask for Children's and Women's. When we look at our sons, we know we made the best choice, USA Children's and Women's Hospital. Kick it. Go to Checkers for our new home style country chicken sandwich. Now just two for three bucks. It's as good as it gets. All white meat country chicken, just two for three bucks. Go. So go to Checkers, because you gotta eat. Go. Go. You gotta eat. <laughs> Lightning strikes twice for a limited time only. And Chris Myers, Chrysler G. Last chance for zero downside and drive. Plus a thousand below employee pricing, and you keep the rebate. Lightning strikes.
price twice. Only 200 new 05s are left. We won't receive any more. All 1,000 below employee pricing. Plus sign and drive. The only thing you need is a pin. Last chance. Zero down sign and drive. 1,000 below employee pricing. Plus keep the rebate. Lightning strikes twice. For limited time only. At Chris Myers Chrysler Jeep. Highway 98 Dep. I-265 with built-in walkie-talkie, speakerphone, GPS capability, web access, and more. Get it for free after mail-in rebate. It's everything you need, and it's free. Call 877-202-1500 to shop or find a store. Plans start at $39.99. Call 877-202-1500 now. I bet your dog can sit or roll over, but can he sniff out mold? Tyson can. He's a year-and-a-half-old lab who works for Mold Pro Incorporated. He sniffs out mold. He's been busy with all the storms and wet weather we've had recently. He can pinpoint the exact location of mold spores inside a wall, even if they're not visible from the outside. He lets his owner know about the mold by sitting down. He can pretty well tell you where it starts and where it stops. So you don't have to go in and just randomly start tearing walls out to try to find the mold. He can pinpoint it. We know where to go. We know where to do our demolition to get rid of the mold. Tyson of one of only about 100 dogs worldwide trained to sniff out mold. And with all the hurricanes and storms we've had and rain, mm -hmm. he's going to have lots of business. Yeah, rain like we had tonight, that heavy, heavy yeah. rain. More rain that just sort of cropped up and went right across Mobile and Baldwin counties. Yeah, John, at least it was cooler because of the rain. That's right. Uh, after you get up into the low 90s around here, you want a little rain, and we've had some out there. Currently, we have 79 degrees in Pensacola. It's 75 at Mobiles Airport, but the 75 with the humidity of 90% feels like 79. 79 in Pensacola with humidity of 77% feels like 83. Now, the winds are out of the west-southwest in Pensacola at 7, west-northwest at 5 miles per hour. So winds coming up from the Gulf in Pensacola, winds coming from the north over in Mobile. This is the way the Fox 10 News Storm Tracker looks, and you can see these very heavy thunderstorms now beginning to roll out of Escambia County, Alabama, on over toward Covington County, and coming out of Santa Rosa, pushing on into Okaloosa County. But there's some heavy thunderstorms back here in Escambia County, Florida, and working their way all the way from Atmore to Oak Grove and down to Seminole. Some of the heaviest thunderstorms in the northern part of the county there, up toward Oak Grove, and they're going to push their way right across Highway 29. As we back up into Baldwin County. We've got heavy thunderstorms off to the north of Stockton, and they're going to push their way south of Atmore down into Escambia County. Light rain showers working our way back to the west toward Loosedale and Agricola and Highway 49 over here in George County, Greene County, Perry, and Lamar counties as well. We've got some light showers to the west, the heaviest of the rain coming right now on through Pensacola and pushing further off to the east now. This is our weather maker, an area of low pressure up toward Dothan right now. And that is pumping in the moisture into Georgia. And some of that moisture is making it all the way to the Carolinas. Back on the back side of it, you can see what's going on. The showers are basically just wrapping around and coming down into our area and then pushing off to the south and to the east. So we've got some scattered thunderstorms out there. And that's the way it's going to be off and on tonight, scattered to isolated thunderstorms with a nighttime low of about 74 for Mobile, 75 along the beaches at Gulf Shores, Grand Bay, 74, down to 73 in Baymanette and in Citronelle. Around the uh, Daphne area, the low tonight should be about 74. Oak Grove, 73. You've got rain showers right there now. In Crestview, you've got some scattered showers. The low tonight's going to be 71, 74 in Pace, 75 in Pensacola. And in Fort Walton, look for a low of only 77 degrees. In Atmore, 72, 72 in Fairford. Jackson, Alabama, Evergreen, expected to hit about 72 for the low. And in Thomasville and Beatrice, our low tonight should be around 71 degrees. Now here in Jackson County, where the worst of the weather was earlier today, between 530 and 630, the overnight low for Pascagoula, 74. The same in Hurley, 73 in Loosedale, and down to 72 in Leakesville. Meanwhile, we still have that tropical depression named Irene. There it is, working its way past the Lesser Antilles and working its way off toward the Atlantic coast of the U.S. Now, Irene, no longer a storm but a depression right now, has winds of 35 miles per hour. It's at 22.8. 
58.8. That's your latitude, and this is your longitude, and it's been tracking, as you see, on a more westerly course over the last couple of days. Where is it going to go? Well, during the weekend, it's going to push its way up toward the Carolina coastline, making landfall sometime either late Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, and it could possibly become a minimal hurricane before making landfall here in the U.S. That's the latest on the tropics, and that's the latest on the current nighttime lows we're looking at now. Bob, we'll look at tomorrow's forecast in just a bit. Hey, thanks, John. Ed. It turns out some of your hurricane tax relief money went to pay for funerals totally unrelated to the storms. The Federal Emergency Management Agency paid for more than 300 funerals last year. The family said that their loved ones died in hurricanes, but the deaths of two-thirds of those people had nothing at all to do with the hurricanes. In fact, one person died a month later in another state. FEMA says it has now changed the way it hands out funeral money. It now requires a document from a doctor or a coroner stating specifically that the person died because of a storm. A man is shot and killed. Now Mobile police are looking for his wife. Problem is, they can't find her. I remember our old country home. Clean, fresh air and flowers growing in the fields. Wind at my heels and sunlight on my face. Carefree summers out of school. Memories worth going back to. That was such a simpler time and place. Bluebell tastes just like the good old days. Pound six, twenty-four ninety-five. Bell South Fast Access DSL. It's a price so low, I'm staying right here to see if that price is going to last. Now get more internet speed for one low price with no gimmicks, no limited time pricing, and no dial-up pain guarantee. Still twenty-four ninety-five. Come on, people, this price couldn't last much longer. Hey, Pat, the price doesn't change. Right. Right back. Call today and get Bell South Fast Access DSL for just $24.95 a month every month. Okay, team, this is the biggest project we've ever done. So, Sue, you're the team leader. I'm going to be looking to you on all points. Got it? Sue? Sue, you're taking care of this, right? Sue, the future of your team rides on the success of this project. I understand. That's our Sue. Looks like Sue's thinking about Arby's Market Fresh Turkey Ranch and Bacon. We're talking roast turkey, creamy ranch spread, and thick-cut pepper bacon. It's so good, it'll have you saying, I'm thinking Arby's. As the blistering days of summer take their leave, an event comes along so legendary it can't be missed. The Toyota Time Clearance Event. To get a great deal, you have to start with great vehicles like the fun-to-drive RAV4 and the Highlander, the SUV with a refined ride. Now get $12.50 cash back on our most popular Highlander models or check out the all-new fuel-efficient Highlander Hybrid. The clock's running, so catch this event now. With deals like these, everyone wins. That's moving you forward. Pritchard police don't have to look for Fox 10 News fugitive file suspect Willie Pearson anymore. He's in the Mobile County Metro Jail right now. He's charged with robbery. And we have new information about another suspect from May. Remember when I showed you this video of the woman in the lime green jacket on the left side of your screen there? She's the one accused of using a stolen credit card. Well, thanks to your phone calls, police now believe that she is a Galen Clemens who has seven outstanding warrants for drug and theft charges. If you've seen her, Call the Mobile Police Fox 10 News Fugitive Files hotline at that number right there, 251-208-1750. Mobile Police are looking for a woman who allegedly shot and killed her husband. The shooting happened at the gazebo condominiums on Old Shell Road. Police say Devalius Will e Evans was arguing with his wife, Jenna Moore, and another man. During that argument, Evans was shot. He was able to run away but collapsed at a nearby intersection. That's where he died. Investigators now want to talk to Moore. If you know where she is, also call the Mobile Police. Pritchard Police are looking for a man who shot his victim in the back. It happened about 8 this morning on Dial Street in Pritchard. Police found 42-year-old Anthony Wright suffering from a gunshot wound to his lower back. He is in stable condition tonight at USA Medical Center. Police say the shooting was the end result of an argument. They're looking for a man nicknamed Duke. If you know where Duke is, call the Pritchard Police Department. Independent truck drivers are beginning to make a lot of noise about the rising cost of gasoline. That story's coming up. Also, 
Planting seeds at an elementary school, it's a familiar concept. I'll have that story coming up. Well, nothing uh, ordinary or unique about tomorrow. It's going to be just like it has been out there. It's going to be hot. A low rip current risk at the beaches. Now the high temperature reading at Dauphin Island and Pensacola, about 89 degrees. We'll have west winds at 10 knots, wave heights 1 to 2 feet, UV index high at 8, and the water temperature, it's going to be 86 degrees, Eric. John had two days away from the kickoff of the Saints preseason schedule. It's time for us here at Fox 10 to unveil our Saints preseason broadcast schedule. And I think you're going to like it. Three of the four Saints preseason games can be seen live right here on Fox 10. The other take delayed on our sister station, the Gulf Coast WB. We'll break it all down later in sports on Fox 10 News at 9. We like backpacks and we cannot lie. With the cell phone pocket on the side, those old backpacks were a fashion risk. But can a cool backpack exist? Check this, tricked out with the flyers look. And I'm holding way more than books. Baby, I'm back. I'm back at school and it's been a little while. I learn, but I learn in style. Look at these t-shirts, denim too. And oh, please don't step on the shoes. Do you like jeans? Yeah. Jeans? Because yeah. in school you got to be seen. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to come back with the hottest look without tapping mom's pocketbook. Baby, I'm back. Car, truck, and SUV shoppers. McConnell Pontiac GMC and Mobile is ready. McConnell is prepared for GM extending the employee pricing program. We bought excess inventory and have hundreds of 05s remaining with 0% financing and rebates up to $3,000. Don't mess with other dealers' whole f***s. McConnell Pontiac GMC is the Pontiac or GMC truck you want and one last shot at GM employee pricing. McConnell Pontiac GMC, the Gulf Coast big truck and SUV choice. I-65 at Dolphin Street in Mobile. The McConnell Auto Companies. We moved from the living room into here because of those reports I was getting over my sudden link phone. You're getting the eastern side of the storm, which is the worst portion of it. The next day, we came outside and nobody could, could talk to anybody. Southern Link was the only service on the air. People I didn't even know were coming over to my house, knocking on my door, saying, can I please use your Southern Link phone? And, yeah, I want to use your phone to call home. Southern Link really came through for my family, this neighborhood, and the community in general. I'll have what he's having. So spicy, so good, so here. Church's new spicy chicken, boldly flavored with five peppers and herbs. Delicious, crunchy outside, tender, juicy inside. Try ten spicy pieces for $6.99, or get three spicy pieces and a biscuit for $2.49. Get spicy. Oh. Checking the almanac today, the normal high this time of the year in Pensacola, we have a high of 90 degrees, while the high in Mobile would be 91. The normal low is 72 in Mobile and 74 in Pensacola. Mobile, well, Pensacola did have that low this morning of 74, but not 72 in Mobile, but a low of 74 degrees there. Now, the high for the day, the rain came in and stopped the temperature from going up, and it only hit 88 degrees in Pensacola, but look at Mobile all the way up to 93 degrees today. Back in 1962, in 1968, we had some record highs set in Pensacola and Mobile. We had a 97 set in Pensacola. We had a 97 set in Mobile in 1968, 1962, and 1990. Both cities cooled down to 67 degrees in Pensacola, and Mobile had a low of 64 degrees. The lows around the area looked like this today. Crestview and Evergreen down to 71 degrees. Pensacola, 74. 76 in Destin down to 73. From NAS to Brooklyn, 74 the low in Pensacola. And Mobile, and here's another 73 that occurred in Pascagoula. Highs today, 93 degrees from Pascagoula to Mobile to Crestview, 92 in Evergreen, 91 at Brooklyn, 87 the high at NAS, and 88 the high in Pensacola and Destin. Out there right now, well, we have 85 in Destin, 78 in Milton, 81 degrees in Crestview, at 74 both at Jackson and Evergreen, 75 right now in Mobile, 74 at Brooklyn, 73 in Pascagoula, and we're 
here at 79 just before the rain bore down on Pensacola. Milton 78 and 80 at NAS Pensacola. But this is your heat index. In other words, in some situations, it feels like we're in the mid-80s and even Destin. It feels like we're 95 degrees right now. No rain at Destin right now, but plenty of rain right here between Baldwin County, Escambia County, and coming out of Escambia County from Oak Grove and up toward Atmore, Alabama, pushing over toward Jay. So some pretty strong thunderstorms off to the west of Highway 29. That line is going to push off to the east at about, oh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. It will be affecting the pace area at 1010, the Wallace area at 959. So if you look at these little individual dots on your screen, those are cities that will be affected by that squall line that's coming off to the east up here toward Munson. Well, you've got some showers coming your way and down toward uh, Interstate 10. So some scattered rain showers and good news for us is most of the stuff off to the west is beginning to die down. We have that area of low pressure that's been sitting out there just visiting Dothan for about the last uh, three or four days, and that's why we've got the moisture coming in from the Gulf and the moisture wrapping back around it, giving us those thunderstorms, and the thunderstorms are beginning to work their way up towards South Carolina. Meanwhile, it's just going to be cloudy to partly cloudy as we go through the rest of the night, and temperatures were basically at the low temperature for the night. A couple of waves coming off the African coast, and meanwhile, Irene right here, a tropical depression with 35 mile per hour winds is going to work its way up past Bermuda and over toward the Carolina coastline sometime over the weekend. Starting at 9 o'clock, going till midnight in our area, some scattered rain showers have been in our area of southwest Alabama. They're now in our area down here into the panhandle of Florida from Crestview and Jay. Most of those are going to push off to the south and to the east and dissipate as the night goes on. We're looking for some patchy fog after midnight till about 6 in the morning. Then we're going to warm up the morning in the air tomorrow. Afternoon temperatures getting up to around, say, 88, 89 degrees at noontime, and then working their way up to 91 or 92, and in some cases, 93 in the afternoon. Those 93s will be where the rain does not reach first. Then by 3 o'clock, abundant scattered showers out there all the way from north of Destin and Crestview back into southwest Alabama. Then by 6 o'clock, more scattered showers are likely to be out there. Overnight tonight, only isolated showers and thunderstorms, fog later on, a low inland of 71, 77 on the coastline, winds tonight, light and variable. That's light and variable where it's not raining, where it is raining, very gusty winds, lightning, and the possibility of hail exists. Tomorrow's going to be hot, humid, steamy, and at times we'll have those thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon, some coastal showers early in the day, west winds tomorrow at 5 to 10, inland highs of 92 and 89, our forecast along the coastline. Chance of rain Tomorrow and Friday, about 60%, a high of 92, and a 30% rain chance on Saturday, back to a 40% chance of rain Sunday and Monday. Now, that is a look at your seven-day outlook here from Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. Thanks, John Ed. Gas prices have surged again, jumping three cents overnight. In Mobile, the average price for a gallon of regular unleaded is $2.28. Yesterday, it was $2.25. In Pensacola, you'll pay about $2.32 a gallon. That's up two cents from yesterday. And here's the bad news. Pensacola has some of the cheapest gas in the state of Florida with those prices. High fuel prices were the driving force behind a trucker's rally in southern Florida today. Listen. With horns blaring, about 200 tractor trailers formed a 20-mile long convoy. They're hoping lawmakers will hear their plea to lower gas prices. These guys have got to choose between, you know, buying a tire for the truck or putting food on the table for their family. And food on the table for the family is going to win, and they're going to be running around with bad tires on the truck. Drivers are asking Congress to pass a law to enact a mandatory fuel surcharge, one that would protect owner-drivers who are stuck with the entire burden of rising gas prices. Independent owner-drivers haul most of the containers from America's ports. Enrollment in Baldwin County Schools is at an all-time high this school year. More than 24,000 students attended classes on the first day of school, and that number is expected to rise. Some of the factors leading to the increase include a large number of new families moving to Baldwin County. The population is expected to climb by about 100,000 residents during the next 10 years. Some of the other students are children of construction workers who are in Baldwin County temporarily to repair Hurricane Ivan damage. I think first and foremost, we have an obligation to educate those youngsters, you know, regardless of how long they're going to be there. Enrollment system-wide was up 442 students on the first day of school.
The first day of school in Mobile County is Monday. Campuses are busy getting ready for the big day. Fox 10 News reporter Jeff Barker tells us some schools have a partner to help them prepare. They put down roots and take off, grow up. It sounds like the principal of George Hall Elementary is talking about all the gardening taking place on her school's front lawn. But she's not. When they come to us in pre-K, they're the seeds, and when they leave, they're a flower. Principal Terry Tomlinson says teaching is a lot like gardening. That's why it's so important to make sure the outside of the school looks like a place where both are very important. Place where you're cared for. And that is happening thanks to a couple of community sponsors. Carpenter's Garden and Alabama Power's Berry Steam Plant are volunteering seeds and sweat to make George Hall look much like its test scores. Quickly improving. I can't wait to see this one's finished. There's absolutely no price that you could put on their efforts. The Berry Steam Plant has adopted George Hall and does projects for the children all year long. We love being out here helping the community. After all the seeds and sod are planted, responsibility is shifted. The water and everything, the kids to do that. So students can watch seeds grow, all the while not knowing that they're growing themselves. Come back in a year. <laughs> Come back in a year. In Mobile, Jeff Barker, Fox 10 News. As you heard, business partners like Alabama Power help Mobile County schools all year long. It's the red carpet treatment for the astronauts of the space shuttle Discovery. And... For the first time in history, a private company is organizing a manned mission to the moon. You heard it. There's a travel agency out there willing to sell you a trip to the moon for the right high price. Hello, I'm Sarah Wall. And I'm Jeff Barker. Thanks for watching Fox 10. Tonight, we'd like to invite you to join us at 5 a.m. for Fox 10 News. Here at Fox 10 News, we work hard to get all the facts so we can take pride in knowing we're bringing you a newscast you can trust. Our meteorologist, Jason Smith, will be tracking the weather so that you can plan ahead. See you in the morning, 5 o'clock. Quick Pawn Shop is your back-to-school store. Check out what's new. Band instruments, trumpets, saxophones. I love this place. Computers, laptops, and desktop. There are so many wonderful items, and the prices are great. The savings are huge. I look at the price tag and say, yes. It's all there in one store. When you need it quick, Quick Pawn Shop. Malls, forget about it. Quick Pawn Shop, it's my store. I build things for a living. I make decisions every day that affect people's lives. So I consider what I would want for my own family. That's why at Mitchell Homes, we prefer to build with natural gas. Everything from water heaters to gas ranges to heating. It's faster, cleaner, and more reliable in bad weather conditions. And overall, it's much more efficient than electricity. Building homes for people is my life. And choosing natural gas really makes a house feel like a home. Mobile gas. It's energy for life. to make a meal. Picked up my phone, called Applebee's. They bring my order right out to me. On my way before you know. It's Applebee's car side to go. You call it in, we bring it out with Applebee's new car side to go. It's not fast food, it's Applebee's food fast. Nice ride. Thank you, Mocha Coca. Chrysler and Jeep came up on Buku Awards. And Dodge trucks last as long as the Deagle Double Chisel. Plus, I've got the hookup, nephew, for sure. You know, I'm not too sure of what you just said. Now everybody gets a great deal. For shizzle, I can zizzle. It's Employee Pricing Plus, our employee discount plus cash allowance on Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. If the ride is more fly, then you must buy. That's what I hear. With the hurricane season here, pick up your tracking chart magnet at First Choice Home Improvements and at the Fox 10 Studios today. As you can see, NASA rolled out the red carpet. It really did roll out the red carpet for Discovery's astronauts in Houston, Texas. The seven astronauts arrived to this rousing welcome home as nearly 700 people crowded into an airplane hangar. Houston is the home of NASA's mission control. 
Now the Discovery astronauts get some downtime with their families and some much needed R&R. Discovery landed in California early yesterday morning. This was the first shuttle mission since the loss of Columbia in 2003. Remember, Columbia broke apart because it was hit by foam from a fuel tank during liftoff. Foam also fell off during Discovery's launch there, but it didn't hit the shuttle, luckily. NASA vows not to send another shuttle into space until the problem is fixed. NASA's administrator would like to launch again before the end of the year, but admits that may not happen. It's been 32 years since humans have gone to the moon. Now it's almost time to go back. A private company announced plans today to send tourists to the moon. Space Adventures put the price of a round-trip ticket at $100 million. Two passengers along with the pilot would ride in a Russian rocket around the moon, but not actually land on it. The first mission could happen by 2008. This mission is only the first of its kind. With what we learned from its execution, we will design and carry out additional missions, the scope of which we can't even begin to imagine. The Space Adventures rocket would circle around the far side of the moon, about 60 miles above the lunar surface. The trip also includes a view of the Earth rise from orbit. I hope so for $100 million. Well, NASA hasn't sent astronauts to the moon since the Apollo 17 mission in December of 1972. The space agency doesn't plan to send anyone back until 2020. Of course, NASA astronauts will be able to walk on the moon. It's a big wall of water come down. And I drove through once, and it almost knocked me off the side. Drivers get buried up to their bumpers in Southern California during a nasty series of mudslides. It looks good out there in the Gulf tomorrow. This is what we're going to have now. Scattered thunderstorms along the beaches early. Afternoon thunderstorms possible. We'll have west winds for the most part tomorrow at 10 knots. Seas running 1 to 2 feet. The next tide is a low tide, 1047 tonight, and a high tide in the morning at 5.23 a.m. Your forecast highs coming up next on Fox 10 News. Subway restaurants are now open for breakfast. Featuring delicious, eye-opening, fresh toasted breakfast sandwiches and wraps. Open at 7, it's the fresh way to start your day. Subway, eat fresh. I chose to come back to my hometown after retiring from Congress, and I care about what happens here. Ann Bedsole and I worked together in the legislature, and she earned my respect. That's why I encouraged Ann to run for mayor and agreed to help her. Ann Bedsole is the only one I trust to make the hard decisions. She has the experience and ability to lead this city. This election is about trust and direction, and you can stand Bedsoe to do what's right. This has never happened before. Right now at Bay Chevrolet, GM employee prices on almost 300 brand new Chevys on the ground now. Not only do you get GM employee pricing on all these brand new Bay Chevrolets, but you also get cash rebates of up to $3,000. That's GM factory employee pricing on all brand new Chevys, and we give you cash rebates of up to $3,000 here at Bay Chevrolet. We're on Government Boulevard, one half mile east of Hank Aaron Stadium. A lot can happen in 36 hours. Announcing the 36-hour sale of Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. The huge savings on stunning, stylish Lazy Boy home furnishings. Save up to 40% on Lazy Boy recliners. Save up to 40% on sofas and love seats. Get free financing with no payments for one year. The 36-hour sale at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. It's happening now, but don't wait, because after 36 hours, it's all over. I-265 with built-in walkie-talkie, speakerphone, GPS capability, web access, and more. Get it for free after mail-in rebate. It's everything you need, and it's free. Call 877-202-1500 to shop or find a store. Plans start at $39.99. Call 877-202-1500 now. Subway restaurants are now open for breakfast. Featuring delicious, eye-opening, fresh toasted breakfast sandwiches and wraps. Open at 7, it's the fresh way to start your day. Subway, eat fresh. 
We have some late word just in. Authorities have arrested that fugitive inmate and his wife wanted in that courthouse escape and the shooting, the shooting death of that corrections officer again. The fugitive and his wife have been captured. Anissa. Thanks, Bob. Heavy rains trigger mud and rock slides near San Diego. We're going to show you that video. A dozen drivers had to abandon their cars because of rising ooze. Though we don't see many mudslides here, here's a good rule of thumb for you. Don't drive through standing water because you never know how deep it is. This is the river air action as you see it running through and the car stuck in mud, literally stuck in mud up to the door handles. This is what the people in San Diego are dealing with. And you see this is a truck and so you know this rises much higher above the ground than that car does. It's incredible when you take a look at what some of the folks in San Diego are dealing with with those mudslides. And you don't want to get stuck in anything like that or water. Yeah, because if your car stalls out, it's just stalled out and you're up a creek no matter what. Up a creek is right. You yeah, could be up the true. creek because the water is so powerful, it'll just push you right off the road. Yeah, so never ever drive through water when you can't see the road from it. That's right. And some areas are getting lots of rain. Yeah, John Ed, which areas are we talking about here? Well, still a few scattered showers out there right now around Jay, Florida. No mudslides going on that we know about. Some heavy rainfall coming out of Escambia County, Alabama, pushing to Covington County. And we've got some new rain developing up here, up toward Highway 45, and that's in Washington County, working its way from Millery down to Chatham. All of this coming off to the south and to the east at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's McIntosh. Here's a lone shower there, working its way from Chatham off to the east now. So along Highway 43, and Highway 45, you're going to deal with these showers right here in Washington County and over here into the Panhandle of Florida. We'll deal with from Jay in Santa Rosa County and on over to Okaloosa County, some scattered rain showers, but as the night goes on, things are going to look better. I promise. Let me show you what we have out there. We've got the moisture coming up from the Gulf, pushing into Georgia. Meanwhile, the moisture that's wrapping around that area of low pressure coming in now from the northwest and pushing down to the south and to the east, as you saw right there in Washington County and all of that's going to kind of slow itself down as the night goes on. We may get some fog after midnight, so be aware of that. Currently outside is 75 in Mobile, 78 in Tallahassee, 79 in Pensacola, 74 right now in Montgomery. In Montgomery, we're looking for a low of 73, 74 in Mobile, and 75 in Pensacola. So we're looking for temperatures in the low to mid 70s tonight, but highs tomorrow getting out of the 80s to 91 in Mobile, 91 in Citronelle and Baymanet, even Grand Bay. You're expecting a high of 91 degrees for Daphne and Gulf Shores look for a high of 90 degrees tomorrow and our chance of rain about 50 to 60 percent in Pace 90 the high Pensacola 90 91 the high expected in Oak Grove and Crestview and 89 the high tomorrow around Destin and Fort Walton 90 in Evergreen 91 for Chatham for Jackson for Atmore about 91 degrees in Thomasville and Beatrice look for highs of 92 degrees now here in Jackson County 91 the high in Pascagoula Hurley 90 uh, one in Loosedale and 91 in Leakesville, and the chance of those scattered rain showers about 60 percent. Matter of fact, 60 percent on Thursday and Friday, 60 percent both days, a 30 percent rain chance on Saturday, a 40 percent chance of rain on Sunday. We're going to work our way up to 92 and 92 for the weekend highs, and lows at night will be in the mid 70s in the interior, the lower 70s. That's our four-day forecast, Anissa. The seven-day outlook in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, Johnette. From high school to the NFL, football practice is in full swing. And the Saints are getting ready for their first preseason game, which you can see right here on Fox 10. Eric Ritchie has an update when Fox 10 News continues. Did you hear that? It's the school bell ring. Do you have the money you need for back to school expenses? If you need cash right now, why wait? Go to The Money Store. It's easy, it's fast, and it's totally confidential with no credit required. The Money Store makes it easy to get the cash you need for back to school or whatever you need. So if you're caught in a pinch from paycheck to paycheck, The Money Store says yes. The Money Store. Real money for real people, real fast. Ford's Family Plan has opened the door so everyone can join the Ford family. Now we're extending that invitation a little longer. Get a Ford 500 with best-in-class interior room, trunk space, and more for the Ford Family Plan price of just $19,995. Or pay only $12,301 for a fuel-efficient Focus CX-4. Plus, you can even get Ford Family Plan pricing on select 2006 models. Just hurry, because once this door closes, the opportunity is gone. See your local Southern Ford dealer today. 
Classic 2495 Bell South Fast Access DSL. It's a price so low, I'm staying right here to see if that price is going to last. Now get more internet speed for one low price with no gimmicks, no limited time pricing, and no dial-up pain guaranteed. Still 2495 Come on, people, this price couldn't last much longer. Hey, Pat, the price doesn't change. Right. Right back. Call today and get Bell South Fast Access DSL for just $24.95 a month, every month. Okay, team, this is the biggest project we've ever done. So, Sue, you're the team leader. I'm going to be looking to you on all points. Got it? Sue? Sue, you're taking care of this, right? Sue, the future of your team rides on the success of this project. I understand. That's our Sue. Looks like Sue's thinking about Arby's Market Fresh Turkey Ranch and Bacon. We're talking roast turkey, creamy ranch spread, and thick-cut pepper bacon. It's so good, it'll have you saying, I'm thinking Arby's. I gotta get a really cute outfit. Maybe a nice little tank top. <gasps> Maybe a nice tube top. <laughs> 250 usage fee. That is so wrong. But that's my tube top. Can we call somebody? Ten Sports is brought to you in part by Mobile Greyhound Park. Chalk one up to the programming department for this one. Three of the four Saints preseason games starting this Friday can be seen live right here on Fox 10. The Saints only preseason game not on Fox 10. Well, it can be seen on our sister station, the Gulf Coast WB. The breakdown looks like this. You can see the Saints preseason opener with Seattle right here on Fox 10 Friday at 7 p.m. The Saints road game with the defending Super Bowl champs on Thursday, August 18th can also be seen right here on Fox 10. Then the Saints close out their preseason schedule right back here September 1st at Oakland with the only preseason game not carried on Fox 10 airing tape delayed on our sister station Gulf Coast WB at 8 p.m. on the 26th. As for the preseason opener, Friday night, the Saints welcome in former Alabama star Sean Alexander, who scored three touchdowns last year against the Saints. The Seattle Seahawks have beat the Saints in each of the past two regular season openers. Hey, Deuce, any revenge? I mean, anytime you step on the field, you want to win. I mean, if you're not going full speed, then you take a, obviously, you take a chance of getting hurt. So, um, I don't know if we definitely necessarily owe them, but, um, you know, it's a game that we want to win. Meanwhile, a shouting match at Eagles camp between Terrell Owens and Eagles head coach Andy Reid today led to a week suspension for T.O. Then this bizarre scene. He's doing sit-ups, he's lifting weights, playing catch while talking to reporters in his front yard. I ain't hurting the team. What do you think it's doing to your team? Isn't it disrupting it? This is not disrupting the team. He sent me home. I'm just, I'm just abiding by the rules. <laughs> Stay tuned on that one. He's just abiding by the rules. A first for the Auburn Tiber Tigers today as well. Their first scrimmage of the preseason held this morning. Head coach Tommy Tuberville called it a good start. Sophomore running back Carl Stewart, he led the rushing with 44 yards on four carries. Kenny Irons had 23 yards rushing and 66 yards receiving. At quarterback, first-year starter Brandon Cox completed 11. 